Yo, what up, MG fam? It's your boy McGruff, and welcome back to the Prairie View Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. Yo, 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 it's time for the season opener, man. Last video you guys saw us in the Midnight Madness, and hey, we look pretty good, man. Maybe our best team ever. So our first game we're going to be facing the Texas A&M Aggies, yo. So you already know we're starting our takeover of Texas tour right here man we're gonna be traveling to college station but first man we're gonna take a quick look at where we stand on our recruiting board with these prospects yo it's not looking that good to start off but i think we're gonna make a lot of lead way if we start to surprise a lot of big teams so first up man we're going back to my boy laforest cammon our first recruit yo he got us number one on his board he's the power forward that we've been eyeing because you know my boy jose brady will be leaving and he's from houston texas man he had two offers on the table and he is considering us and next up is the boy clifford fellers clifford is the seven footer the center from out of houston texas as well top 200 player he got us fourth on his list he got lsu memphis tulsa in front of us but we're going to try to climb that board because we're the only scholarship offer he has on the table and then you have chase abuka i i probably butchered that last name but he's from austin texas top 200 player top 50 at his position small forward yo i really want this kid he got us right now at the number six spot on his list, but we're the only scholarship offer as well. He got all of those big schools in front of us. Also, Texas A&M is there, so we're playing in them in our first game, and if we get the upset, we might change this kid's mind. And we're gonna slide on to Franklin Wilkins. Franklin is over there from Irvin, Texas, top 500 player. He's a small forward as well, top 100 at his position. He got us at the sixth place spot. We didn't offer him a scholarship yet because we're betting on Chase. But at the sixth spot, not bad, but he's leaning heavy toward Arkansas and TCU. And you already know we had to add another center in Lyle McCoy, a seven footer as well, 247, a little slim. So he might be pretty athletic. He got us all the way down there at the sixth spot as well. So what's up with the sixth spot for the Prairie View Panthers? Hey, we're gonna try to slide up his board as well, but no scholarship offer yet because you already know we're banking on the other center. And last but not least, the kid, John Paul Newby. The 6'10 guy, the five-star recruit that we've been eyeing, man. Got my fingers crossed on this kid, but it's not looking good. He got two scholarship offers from Georgia Tech and Kansas, as well as ours. So it makes three total, but he's already maxed out almost with those two power five schools so we might be out of the game early with this kid but we're gonna keep shooting at him so now let's slide on to the polls baby the top 25 hey we're nowhere near it but you can see west virginia the defending champs they're at the top right now followed by syracuse florida oklahoma and north carolina rounding out the top five so Texas A&M is currently ranked number 13. So we're going to try to pull that upset. You can see Gonzaga there at 8, USC at 9. Some teams we played in the past. In the bottom half of the top 25, you got Baylor, Colorado State, a team that we beat. And also the defending NIT champs, North Carolina State at 20. And we're going to slide on out of there. So now let's go to our conference. Hey, no top 25 teams in our conference, but we're looking to change that here in the future. So first up is Alabama A&M. Alabama A&M, eh, they might make it to a conference tournament this year, but that'll be it. They're 65 overall, not the worst team in our conference, but close to it. So they have Jared Falls, their power forward, their best player, also Wayne Walton, the freshman small forward. So in a few years, this team right here will be pretty good. So they have some nice freshmen on their roster. And then you got Alabama State. They have a lot of upperclassmen four juniors and one senior so this team is primed for a drought man unless they get something going on the recruiting trail and Alcorn State they still stinking it up they don't have one player above 60 and a lot of upperclassmen as well so they probably need some new leadership as well then you got Arkansas Pine Bluff hey that kid EF Styles this is his last year he's a 71 overall Hey, everybody else is just tagging along. You got Jabari down there, the center, the freshman center. So he's going to have to anchor 
the low next year and years to come unless they bring someone else in to help then Grambling State, yo, Grambling State, yo, they came back, yo. They always be at the top of our conference with their, you know, talent. So they got that kid, LT Hargett, the Juco kid. He's a 68 overall. I ain't think he was going to come in that good. 68 already. And you already got those other guys, Pandolf, Hems, Ume, all those guys above 70. And then you got the senior small forward McFarlane. He's a 61, so... He might be bringing some different type of style of play to help offset the rest of his teammates. And then on to Jackson State. Jackson State got a pretty decent front court between Daniel and Josiah Burton. 68 overall, 69 for those two guys, but that backcourt is horrible. And Mississippi Valley State, one of our rivals. You know, this team is pretty decent this year as well. That front court is killing it. Thompson, Cole, and Gomez, you already know the pain those guys bring. And the freshman, Pompey, Mr. Bobby, he's a 67 overall. Hey, but that shooting guard position is their weakest spot. So if anyone is playing this team, take advantage of Steven Caskell. And then on to us, man, you already know the best team in the conference, rating-wise, on paper, and on the court. We killing it. And the weakest link in our starting lineup is my boy, DJ Miller. And he could start for many teams in our conference, man. Sleep on him. He's going to show out this year. I'm betting on him. And then Southern, yo, Southern fell off a little bit these last few years. I think it's the leadership that they have there. Because come on, State, man, the best player in the conference should have at least one more 70 overall to help him. That's a lot to ask from a kid. And Texas Southern, the worst team in our conference, 63 overall. Hey, their best player is Morrison. He's a sophomore. That's a good sign. And then they got Beeler, the freshman. He's a 64 overall. But everybody else, yo, you can just sleep on them. They ain't doing nothing. So I want to watch one of these teams, Texas Southern and Alabama A&M. I want to see who's going to surprise me the most. Um, Alabama A&M might end up being the seventh best team but if they rank higher than that i would be surprised and if texas southern is not in last place at the end of the season i would be surprised as well so now let's slide on to our game man against the texas a&m aggies the 13th ranked team and you know they from the big 12 man the power five conference but this team right here led by one of the best coaches in their conference in a 92 overall squad, very balanced. Offense is a 93, defense 91, shooting 96, rebounding 92, and their coach, a 88, almost cracking 90. Yo, but we're down here. We, we're making a little bit of noise. If we come out here and play our game, we should be okay. As long as we control the tempo, I think we have a great chance. So now let's slide to this game against Texas A&M. Yo, we ready to get it on. Let's get it. All right, so we out here at Reed Arena. Yo, this thing is sold out the season opener for the Texas A&M Aggies. And we're going straight, straight to tip off. And let's get it. So they won the tip off. Yo, we're going to play it back. And you got Monroe up top with my boy Okafor Romelli. One of their best players gets it down to Willie. And it's a foul on the first play. And they converted it. So they got a chance at a three-point play already. And they convert the three-point. So let's go, man. Oh, what you got for your boy? Show me some love. Do something. We need it, bro. We need you to have one of your best games if we're going to compete against this squad. And Oka for going all the way to the rack. I like the aggressiveness, but it didn't, didn't work for us that time. Continue to do it in the fall. And Monroe has it here. Moving. Nice kick, roughing, pulls it. Yo, we got to play D. We got to stay on these guys. All right, so Miller, DJ down there, kicks it to Reeves. What you going to do, freshman? Give us something. And Reeves got smacked. <laughs> They're playing my boy. They, they doing my boy dirty. So we're going to have to be a little careful down there in the low post. And Skeeter's going to pull one. Knocks it down with a man in his face. The freshman, DJ Miller. Got burnt for the first time this season, but Brady said, you're not going to play with my young bull because I'm going to jam it on you. And Brady got the steal off the tip from Okafor in the contact foul, and Okafor going to the line. So we're down by six very quick. 
for Oka for Abel to cut it to five with that made free throw. So let's go. That one. The second one is off, but Reeve saved it. Good offensive board, but he can't convert. So Romelli, oh, lost that one. No, they got it back. Monroe with the hustle game. And all right, so they got control now. Yo, we got to get a stop. We got to get a stop, man. All right, so Monroe keeps that down to Ruffin and Ruffin with another basket. All right, so Brady, we going with it. Keeps that one to my boy Morgan. Morgan going to the wreck. I love the penetration from him and Okafer, but no basket for us. Said Okafer from deep knocks it down. That's what I'm talking about. Man in his face and all. Okafer is not phased. And Willie with a nice layup. And these guys up 14 to 6. And Trayvon looking. Brady kicks it back to Okafer. Okay, that's what I like to see, man. Okafer got the hot hand, and he stole that one, puts it up. Yes, sir, Okafer, turn up on these guys. So we're back in it, man. Down by four, roughly pulling a three. Yo, we can't leave this kid unattended. So Okafer with it, trying to move something. Kicks it over there to Miller. Oh, nice pass out of the jump shot. And straight sling that one over to Okafer, three-pointer. Yo, Oak is on fire 11 points already so let's go they kicking that one down and oh man that was too quick of a possession but we still in it down by four still and they shot a three and it went in that was too easy for him and morgan missed the three on the next possession and reeves got it back and he got robbed yo come on they are playing us like crazy. Trayvon, great defense, couldn't get it. And the Skeeter pulling a three. Yo, this team can shoot. We saw that before the game start. You've seen the shooting rating. And these guys are still killing it. And they're going to pull a jump. And that's what I'm saying. What? What's going on? They're hitting in God's face. We're playing decent defense, but we can't do anything. And Okafor is just going to take it to the rack. Yo, he, he got it somehow. 13 points for Oak. Oak's doing everything he can. And... A fake and a layup for Atchison. Yo, this team is too loaded. So let's go, man. Straight down bottom. Are you going to go up, young man? <laughs> he got smacked. My boy Solly saved us. And Morgan pulls it. We can't buy a basket. Down by double digits. Roughing. How did he get up the court that fast? Yo, this team is too athletic. You can see why they are the 13th ranked squad. And Romelli kicks it to Atchison and he gets another one. All right, so Skeeter up top. He already hit a three on us. Monroe kicks down the Skeeter. And another jumper for Karato. How you say his name? He got eight points, bro. He's killing it. So DJ Miller finally gets an open shot, and it clinks off the back of the rim. Nice rebound from my boy, Solly. And DJ got fouled while trying to shoot the shot. So we going back with it. So Trayvon, can you get something, young man? So my boy, Jose Brady, got robbed. We got it back, though. And DJ, look over there. Swanson, he's not going to pull it. He's not a shooter, but we might have to end up shooting with him. And DJ with it once again. Kicks down to Solly. Can't even get in the paint. No move is working. Brady tries it, and nothing works for him. But Swanson, wide open like always, and he finally knocks down a three. So, Swanson, if you can hit him, we're giving it to you because they're not playing you, buddy. And he shoot another one, but nothing goes in. And Solly Jackson puts it back off the offensive rebound. Down by nine. They pull another jumper in. Well, back down by double digits. And the end of the first half is up on us. DJ pulls a three, and he's off once again, man. The freshman can't get it going. Okay, so we go into the half with a 12 point deficit we're actually closer than anyone expected us to be man and my boy okafer has 15 brady got 10 so double digit points for two of your starters in most games we will be leading but the aggies though they got too much firepower so in the second half we're gonna try a different approach we're gonna try to attack the basket and okafer goes straight to the rack and gets a foul baby and we're gonna shoot these free throws and he made the first one. And the second one is good as well. All right, so Okafer is going to take over the offense from here. DJ Miller can't get anything going. Okafer is going to pull it, and they foul Okafer. Continue to foul him because the kid is almost automatic from the line, and that free throw goes in as well. 
and a miss free throw from my boy Okafer Miller. Okay, so we got the ball back. That's cool. And Okafer trying something. Can't get anything established. Miller up top. Get it back to Oak. He's our only hope. And a nice pick. And Jose Brady. Okay, we're going to play that on him, baby. Let's go. So we back with 10 single digits. And Okafer just goes to the rack. Hey, I'm telling you, Okafer is looking very good very polished this year so far and Romelli pulls the jumper and he knocks it down yo we gotta gotta gain some ground on these guys man so Trayvon kicks down to Miller who pulls one I love his jumper but he can't get one man he can't get one we gotta get him going so Monroe is just pushing the issue not slowing down not doing anything else and Willie kicks down to Romelli to Skeeter and we block the shot great defense from the freshman Reeves and Morgan is pushing the issue Morgan oh Try and go to the rack. Kicks that one to Trey. Trey, back to Morgan. Morgan, can you get to the basket, bro? No, sir. We're going to kick it back to Trey. Not shooting that one. All right. Solly Jackson down bottom. Nice move, and he gets fouled. So, Solly, go to the line, baby. You have experience, so you should be able to knock down these free throws. The first one is good. The second one is good as well. Let's slide, baby. Let's go. So, Trayvon kicks that one to Scrape. Scrape right down bottom. He got the moves on him, and he can't knock it down, so let's go. So Monroe kicks it to Ruffin. You know that kid has the sweetest jumper. So off the inbound, man, we trying to get something going. Kicks that one down to Solly Jackson, and Solly with another basket. Solly will shoot the first free throw. He's off, and the putback is no good for us. So Morgan, we got the rebound, so let's go. Morgan is trying to get us back in there. Look over there in the corner, DJ Miller. Can you hit it? He finally knocks down his first three, man. Took a while, man. I know he took like eight attempts probably already. So Skeeter goes to the rack, and he hushes the crowd with that made layup. So we're back with it. DJ with a nice steal. And let's go, Solly Jackson. Nice layup on the fast break. Yo, Solly has 10 points, yo. We need that off the bench. So Morgan with a nice rebound. Slings that one up to Trayvon. Trayvon with the layup. And oh man, I would have loved to have that three-point play. But yo, we're going to the line with it. And Trey is an experienced senior, man. He has the experience. And the second one is off. And yo, we're still down. Down by eight this time. And a nice kick from Okafer. Down by six. We're creeping on him, baby. Playing great defense. And he's going to pull that one. And he missed it. Let's go sling that ball up court. Okafer, where are you going with? He going all the way? Nah, kick that thing over to my boy Morgan from three who misses it. It's right with a nice rebound. That's what I'm talking about. So down by four, man. We're back in it. So he's going to pull a three. He's off great defense. Nice rebound from Craven. Trayvon slings that one to Okafer. And Okafer... Got us within two, baby. I know the Aggies are nervous, and they're going to pull a three. He's off. Willie goes up and gets fouled, yo. I'd rather send him to the line than give him that easy basket. So his first free throw is okay. It's good. And the second one is good as well. All right. Oh. Looking for big Solly Jackson. Oh, man, I thought he had another one, but Solly's going to the line. So, Solly got a chance for 12 points. First free throw is good. Let's get it, baby. And then the second free throw is good as well. Solly Jackson, if we win this one, baby, we're going to give you piece of the game ball. And Monroe pulls that three, and it's off, but he gets the foul, bro. How they got the foul on us, bro. Bad mistake. And, well, it's only two points now. He only has a chance at two points. So the second one goes in. And the third one, let's see what he does here. The third one, that one is good as well. So we only down by three, yo. This is a game. This is a ball game once again. Who would have predicted it? So Craven with a nice steal. Kicks that one to my boy Okafor. You know he going. And it's a foul on him. Let's go. We going to the line too, bro. We going to the line. 11 team fouls on the Aggies. And Okafor is at the line. And he knocks down the first one. 59 to 61. The second one is off, but we got the offensive board. Hey, 
Set it up, man. Got it back to my boy Okafor. Let's go. Kick it over there to that boy DJ down bottom solid Jackson. Kick it back over to Okafor. Oak going. He don't care. Oak missed that one, but Cravey with the save. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's get it. So the game is finally tied up. And DJ Miller with a nice one. The freshman with the steal gets it to Morgan who spins and gets the layup, baby. Let's go. We finally got the lead. We finally got the lead. It's six minutes left. We can pull it off, man. Just got to play great D. And Skeeter, no sir. We ain't giving you those easy, bro. Reeves, that's your fourth foul, but... Hey, we needed that one. We couldn't give it to him too easy. So the first free throw is good. Second one. That's good as well. So the game is back tied up. Slay that thing up court. Get it to Morgan. All right, my boy Okafor on the bench. So we need somebody to do something. Kick it out back over to Morgan. Watch this pick. Here we go. You already know where you're going, big Jose Brady. Get out of the way, boy. Get out of the way. You seen the jam? Monro trying to push it up court. Trying to catch it slipping. All right. They got it to their three-point shooter. Skeeter going to pull one. He off. Great defense. They got it off as a board. And they going with it once again to the rack. We're fouling. We don't care, baby. We playing bully ball. You're going to have to earn those baskets. That's what I'm talking about. So at the line, he knocks down the first one. The second one is good. The game back tied up. So Morgan with it. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's see what we got. Miller. Oh, man, bad pass from the freshman, man. You can expect a freshman to make mistakes sometime. And Swanson takes the foul, sends the guys to the line. So, Ruffin, he's probably not going to miss any of them. The first one is good. So, they're back up by one. Ruffin, please miss one. Play boy. And he made both of them. So, Morgan over there in the corner with it. Nice pick from Jose Brady. You already know. Oh, I thought you knew. But nothing happened for Jose Brady. The second one got rejected. And Skeeter is pushing the issue. Slings that one over. Okay, Ruffin down bottom again. And Ruffin, yo, how many points does this kid have? He's everywhere. So we're back down by four. Skeeter going to the rack. We're following once again. And Reeves, how many fouls is that? That's Reeves' final foul. And he will sit on the bench. The freshman fouled out in his first game ever. Hey, he knows his role. He wasn't doing anything offensively. You better play defense. And a bad pass, a bad pass. And we reached in and fouled once again. So we are kind of blowing the game right now, man. We are sending these guys to the line. We have 15 team fouls. And we're back down by seven. This is not good. So Okafor, we're depending on you, Morgan, DJ Miller. If you can do something for us, Playboy, we'll take it. So Okafor, going to the rack. You already know. Caught him slipping. Got the foul. We're back, baby. Let's get it. So Okafor going to the line. Oak, big Oak though, makes that one three-point play converted. And let's go. All right, Monroe. Okafor had you on clamps all game. Play, boy. You can't do anything. Ruffin going to pull another one. He's finally, finally breaking one. And Okafor is pushing the issue. Y'all better get in front of him. If not, you already know where he's going. Okafor, what are you doing? All right. Jose Brady. Kicks down over to DJ Miller. Man in his face. The freshman, the freshman with the three, baby, his second basket. He has six points. Yo, he's 25% from three-point land. We knew he had it in him. That's what I'm talking about. So Skeeter over there with it, kicks that one. And Miller with a steal. The freshman is saving the day. Okafer goes to the rack, and it's a jam, baby. And we finally take the lead, man. DJ Miller, what a clutch steal, baby. So right now, you already know what time it is. We are trying to chew the clock, and Okafor kicks that one to Miller once again. And Miller, DJ Miller, is going crazy, baby. And Morgan got a steal this time. Kicks that one to Brady, back over to Okafor. Okafor, chew the clock, baby. Chew the clock. Less than two minutes left. We don't want to make any mistakes. Take your time. I don't care if you sit there until it's five seconds on the clock. Let's go, man. Let's go. So we're going to chill. For a little bit. DJ Miller. Hey, I knew it was something about that kid. Can he get us our first ever season opener upset? Yo, let's go. So five seconds on the clock. What my boy Oak gonna do? No time left. He just gonna pull a three in Okafer. What? That boy got ice in his veins. That's a Kobe move, bro. That's a Kobe move. And we got it back once again. Oak, what you got for him? Oak going to the rack. Gets five, no foul. Five point deficit. 
Willie got it. Kicks it to Skeeter. Monroe. Taking this time. What he gonna do? Kicks that one over to Romelli. You already know roughing over there. Oh, he gonna kick that one in the corner. Willie misses the three. And DJ Miller has it. Yo. Great defensive possession for the squad. We're up by five. And the freshman DJ Miller knocks down that one, baby. You better keep your composure. And he does. And that freshman, he's a 65 overall, but what a clutch performance. And we tipped that one. And they just stood there and look at it. And Morgan stole it. And that's going to be the game. So we upset the Texas A&M Aggies, the 13th ranked team in the nation. And who led the charge? That boy over 32 points. 10 for 17, 9 for 13 from the free throw line, 3 for 3 from three point land, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. This is his year. Yo, those first two seasons, the kid was probably trying to feel things out, but I think he's ready to make an Elmo Newman type run this year. So, we shot 42% against these guys. Not bad, but our three point shooting gotta be better. Hey, we shot the same exact percentage. They shot 28 we shot 28 but we went to the line a lot 30 times shot 63 percent you already know we kind of shaky from that free throw line but check the stats out for the squad that boy Oka for 32 points you already know what time it is with him brady gave us 14 we would love to have more rebounds Oka for had more rebounds than brady come on and solly jackson them 12 points from him very efficient game from the kill we needed those 12 those 12 helped us out as well as dj miller 10 my boy Morgan, three points, y'all. Seven rebounds, one for 13. So, DJ Miller, if you can find your shot, buddy, we're going to start divvying up those shots between you and Morgan. Because Morgan, he's not consistent. But he brings a different, different type of approach to the game he can get to the rack he can shoot threes he can do a lot he's a he's a nice player but i think dj is the real shoot and i appreciate you guys for watching this video man hit that like button that notification bell and subscribe to the channel man it's your boy mick gruff and i'm out of here one